Welcome back to Learn About Nature. I'm Sergeant A. It's December. We're going to do December cold weather themed animals and places. So I'm going to start this one. This week we're going to do the um, Siberian Husky. Uh, it's a very hardy dog that's used up in the northern regions. It likes to be in the cold, from what I hear. So I'm going to play this video. This video has a lot of information in it, so I won't uh, have to go hunting for a lot of facts. A lot of facts are stated in here. After this, I did find a site that has some information. We can go briefly over that, but this should pretty well explain it all. As long as the copyright don't uh, bother me, you'll be able to hook it up, and you'll be able to watch it. And if it does, then we'll start from scratch. The Siberian Husky is a medium-sized dog with a strong build. Its head is triangular with a long muzzle and erect ears. It is most commonly seen in white and black, white and brown, or white and red. One of the fun things about the Siberian Husky is their eyes. They can come in any color or any combination of color. They can have blue eyes, brown eyes, one of each. The Siberian Husky obviously is a is for sledding, they have the double coat, which allows them to withstand many types of weather. They're the able to go for long periods of time without food, which is ideal when they were providing the jobs and being loyal to their own high energy breed. It requires a lot of exercise. Not always good with small animals, great with children. The Siberian Husky can sometimes be difficult to train and may need professional help. And though the breed's lineage remains a mystery, the husky is probably of spit stock. They were Lots dogs of, of a nomadic Indian tribe called the Chushki Indians. And they were used in the winter to carry game. And in the summer, they were turned loose to fend for themselves, which is part of the reason the Siberian husky has such a high prey drive. Shortly after 1900, Americans heard of this amazing sledding dog and brought them over to Alaska for their purposes. Their stamina and ability to withgo all types of weather situations allowed them to help their sledders pull them in upwards of 400 miles on each given trip. The Siberian Husky's popularity soon spread into Canada, and in 1930, the American Kennel Club officially recognized the breed. Several Siberian Huskies would later serve on the U.S. Army's Arctic Search and Rescue Unit during World War II. There you go. They are trainable. Search and Rescue. don't try to dominate them. Uh, Fun-loving. They're pack animals. They're perfectly willing to have the family be their pack. As a pet, Huskies will require that you brush their coat often to avoid match and excessive hairballs in your house. To learn more about the Siberian Husky and to meet other Husky lovers, Check out our Siberian Husky group in the Pet360 community. Alright, so that was pretty cool. Get my glasses on now. So I found here eight fun facts you may not have known about Huskies. And this is on a site called iHeartDogs.com. Uh, they said they went over most of the stuff in there. So huskies are bred for extremely cold weather. Okay, this one's obvious, but did you know which characteristics allow the pups to withstand the frigid weather? It has a thick, double-layer coat that keeps them warm in temperatures far below zero, even up to negative 50 or 60. Fur on their toes keeps their paws insulated. Their claws enable them to maintain a grip on icy ground. And they're also great diggers. They'll scoop out holes in the snow for a place to burrow shelters themselves from the wind. Now they're able to change their metabolism. Apparently scientists still can't put their finger on how this works, but huskies can sprint for hours without getting tired, all the while reserving their energy and their fat stores. And did you know that how far a husky's howl can be heard? Up to 10 miles away. Husky owners know that these dogs are particularly talkative. The iconic sled dogs hail from Siberia. That's how they got their name. They were introduced to the United States in 1909 when they came to Alaska. And lucky for that because they saved an entire town. 
In the midst of a diphtheria outbreak in 1925, teams of huskies raced through the treacherous snowstorm to deliver medicinal serum to Nome, Alaska, before the disease could further devastate the town. Remember Balto? Uh, he was the leader of one of the teams that braved a particularly difficult route. Yeah, I've watched Balto, the uh, cartoon, and uh, I think there was a book I read on him. Pretty amazing what he did. Huskies are often blue-eyed. Many members of this breed have strikingly pale blue peepers. Uh, heterochromia, two different color eyes, also a trait that runs in the family. The least one is almost always blue. As for their coats, they come in six different shades. And that's according to the AKC. Although handsome, huskies are not the perfect dog for home, every home. Surprisingly, uh, huskies are happiest in the cold climates and need a big yard to exert all that energy. Meat freaks and allergy sufferers, beware. These dogs shed a lot. But don't mind a little husky hair in your morning cereal. Oh my. I wouldn't be able to deal with that. I do have an allergy to dogs. Now they can make great family dogs. This breed is particularly pack oriented and thrives in a family unit. Huskies aren't the best guard dogs. They usually do very well with children. And all, remember, all animals should be assessed on an individual basis. And always carefully introduce them to younger members of the family. You know, some of them might snip, but generally uh, huskies are family oriented, so they like children. If you and your family live in a cool or a cold climate, have lots of yard space, or love bringing a pooch on your outdoor adventures, a husky might be the perfect addition to your family. So, yeah, I don't really know anybody that's owned one of these, but uh, I've heard a lot of things about them, how they uh, yeah, do require a lot of attention. Uh, myself being in the military, I uh, go away from time to time. I haven't done it recently, but that's prevented me from having any kind of pet like this. Because I'm not there to brush the coats. I'm not there to feed them regularly. And I wouldn't be there to uh, make sure they got outside to run. Uh, if you have time to spend with them, it would be good I will have. All right, that's it. If we learn something here, uh, one thing I did not know, and I'll point out, is that I have that two different color eyes. I did not ever look that close at one of these animals <laughs> to realize that they have two different color eyes. So at least that's something I learned. Uh, what have you learned? Hey, if you like it, share it, and give it me a thumbs up. Uh, remember, every Monday we're going to have this series, the uh, Something Different About Nature. Comment below. Let me know if you have anything you particularly want me to check out. And make sure if you haven't subscribed yet that you do so. Uh, keep yourself informed when the next one comes out. Like I said, it's supposed to be on Mondays, but you never know. At least we get a, a notification that it came out. You can get over here and watch it right away. All right, well, I hope you have a good December. And Saturday, signing out.